I don't know how long I was not playing VR. <laughs> like, I think how was my schedule on YouTube? I played VR the last time, I think like two weeks ago or something like that. Ah, okay. Um, just as I said, I wanted to show um, how Orbus presents Orbus VR Reborn, the version of PSVR and I think PCVR, I'm not even sure. It's just a MMORPG of its, of its first kind that was released on the Quest, which obviously with things that are the first on the platform it's not perfect, but at the same time it's um, it's how it is. <laughs> um, it is a game that you play with other people, just like with basic uh, mechanics of v of MMORPG on the PC, which is like widely um, populated because it's the most common platform to play there. And Arbus is uh, like a medievalish. I'm not sure how to to what game to pinpoint. Uh, similar in more PG on the PC, but uh, um, I think it's more on the older part of style in games. I think like definitely one of the games that was developed in the art style from 2000s, something like that, uh, which you can see like you have you know you have uh, harsh lines and textures and like blank uh, things. The only thing that move is like your body. Uh, vertically like that and your hands you have no legs which that I assume they just went with the easy route of not um, like creating a mechanics for legs because it's the most difficult part to create in VR because even though you don't move your legs uh, like in real life and you don't steer it in VR programming them in VR is that, that's what I heard at, at, at least it's a very difficult job to do, um, but yeah, I think the max level in Orbus is like level 30, I am level 20, so, so I played a lot uh, before my parents came in to visit, so I am kind of like knowledgeable about the game already and its mechanics, I'm not obviously perfect and a master in it, but I I spent my first share of time here and I think I will still play it or whatever even though it has its up, ups and downs in terms of uh, game, gameplay which I will tell you what's, um, what's not good about it obviously but it's a game, it's, it's, fair, it's, it's an okay game, it's not perfect, it's not the worst uh, so yeah, let's, let's just go with, with it I'm gonna like mute myself in the game because you can speak uh, with people um, in area and then they want anyone to hear me. But maybe you'll hear anyone. Okay, I'm at, at my home, so I am safe here to do the options. But like yeah, you can already see that you, the textures and everything is a rather harsher on the harsh side. It's, like a kind of a runescape ish, I think, texture. Not really, maybe I'm being too hard, but it's the art style of 2000s, definitely. And I'm not, it's not like I'm blaming the developers, but because it's obviously a port from the official, um, official uh, release on other platforms which require PC and high end computer anyway, so. I assume the textures and everything, the graphics are way better, but we are playing on the quest, so we are judging basing on that. <laughs> so there's no excuse at the end of the day. <laughs> but wait, I'll turn off. I, I hope I can turn off the microphone or whatever. I'm not even sure. Uh, audio, okay. So I don't know where is push to talk, to be honest. The B button on trigger. Okay. Via push to talk. 
Actually, instead of opening the query menu, okay. Let's see. There will be an indicator, no? No, okay. So, I will just hope that no one <laughs> hears me. <laughs> but okay, let's just go to the town and I'll show you some things. Yeah, you interact with uh, like pulling things and like pressing, shooting, etc. You're in a beer. Yeah, ab und zu, or then you're just here weggelaufen. If someone is speaking Deutsch, <laughs> Wo warst it's du not plötzlich? here. Wo bist du jetzt? I hope there will, I hope there will be no error, just like it was in the, I think, in sorts of Gargantua, because I think recording the gameplay and the audio is not um, so, ich weiß at the same nicht. time. I think it's separate, Warum? and then you have so delays in the audio. Nicht. There is so many people here. Jesus Christ. Oh. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, no, it's not accent. Nah, you can keep it. I have a bunch of me. I, 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 I got about I five less guys. I think more. someone is uh, explaining sure. someone the gameplay. Um, yeah, this game has has many people actually because recently there was a release. I think on Steam there was a release of a demo that you could play up until level ten. I think. Which level 10 is a lot, a lot of time you can spend in a demo. Like I'm assuming, on average, I think it would be maybe like what the hell? <laughs> I think maybe five hours, maybe even more. Let's say five hours. I'm not even sure. I'm just like thinking, taking, pulling this number up from my ass. So. Um, you have map and quest on your shoulder with a compass. You turn it and you have the quest that you took from the NPCs in the world. Uh, this is obviously the main city. You have areas that you go, you know, just like in a normal MMORPG. This is like a citadel for the Guild Wars or whatever. I don't, I think, no Guild Wars, I think like the raids. So this game is really spacious, I can tell you that right away, um, because... Why people are... I hope they don't kill me. <laughs> I'll check it again, okay? No, okay. I hope so. <laughs> it would be super awkward. <laughs> um, let me just take some few quests and then we will go into the wilds. You interact with NPCs by waving a hand to them like you're greeting them, so... Because that's fine. <laughs> Let me just take additional quests. I'm taking overload because you can take how, how many you wanna. And uh, just do them, uh, do a lot of the same time and then just uh, start, uh, like, get a really big amount of XP. I'm gonna queue up for the dungeon because that's the best, I think, thing to show. Um, doing dungeons with people, I think it's kind of obvious. Just... Okay. I'm actually like, really surprised that there are so many people I mean, it's low level, so I guess they just started playing, so I guess it's fine. <laughs> um, in this game, you have many classes. I think you have like maybe eight. I'm not even sure. You have uh, things like paladin, warrior, uh, archer, uh, shaman, mage, musketeer, and I think gunslinger. I think it's called the other way, but yeah. So let's just see. I'm playing Musketeer purely because I knew that in this game I need to handle many things alone. So I took like a hybrid class that heals but at the same time does damage. So I'm kind of like hey, playing a really good uh, class for soloing the content here. I think this one, this area is like the starting point you start and then you have um, explained the mechanics kinda 
the, the explanation is not that floral if you don't pay a really high attention to that because the tutorial is okay it's not on the standards of a typical MMORPG I think it's a little bit vague uh, but if you want to really get into the game and get really into mechanics you need to pay attention to everything that uh, like to every text that uh, you, uh, appears on your screen and then into the city you have many uh, clues there uh, wait, let me just heal him uh, he's dying so whatever and let me just kill this <laughs> Okay, so my mechanics as a musketeer, I have a rifle or gun or whatever, and I have magic bullets that I infuse into my gun. I just put it into the gun and then I shoot at the enemies. And then, like, you, you do rotations of uh, shooting stuff. And you can shoot whatever you wanna. That's just how the VR version works. And you can also heal people on the sides. I am 20 levels. Uh, on the 20 levels, so. <sighs> My damage and art healings are pretty enough to save anyone. And uh, so, yeah, you have like basic mobs in the, in the world. You try to kill stuff, obviously, just like in every average building. And my special thing is that I have a thing that is called turret and I confuse it to attack or heal anyone that is in approximately or do damage when I attack them uh, which here I'll set it up the attack I throw it into the air and whenever I attack anyone the turret attacks also the special thing is that I can infuse the turret also by shooting um, the turret, but you need to have a specialization to that. My specialization is mainly healing because it's better in the long run and it's way better than I saw on the skill tree. Um, because the other ones are not really that big of a deal here. It will be because this is a path of a healer, this is a path of like two rich fighter, but this one is way better for a healer and two rich fighter because this was not really good in the, um, in terms of healing because already this spell uh, you have so many heals already you don't need more and doubling the healing or the damage from your turret. Um, is a really versatile uh, final talent. But whatever, I'm just rambling about my class. Um, I have a mount that I can I fly on and I just move faster. So yeah. Um, just like I told you, the game is really spacious. Like, I think you need maybe like one hour or even more to travel all across the game, maybe even more. I tried to do some quest, high level quest by sneaking through the enemies, but sometimes it's so impossible and uh, like, because the aggro is so high that they basically one shot you. <laughs> and uh, this map is really used to people, not even newbies or like low level. I think this area is for the people like throughout the level 1 up until I think 20 that I have or 25 maybe um, yeah uh, the you know the interface is pretty basic you have your uh, this is like people that are around you you can interact with like add to the friends or whatever the equipment is pretty basic um, also from my class unique, I have orbs and I can select many different orbs. They have like poison, I have like a gravity orb which kind of like sucks the enemies into the uh, like black hole kinda. 
and, and stuns them. Um, I have like shield or decures or whatever. It's basically you, for your taste, you choose the orbs that you use. That you use. I use basically regeneration, healing. Um, this is like a cure that uh, applies more damage, and this is kind of like a nuke orb uh, that does a really high, the highest damage of all of them. So combining weakness and that, you really have a huge damage. Uh, I can show you. Um, I think this one is fine. So there was a thousand, and now it's eight thousand. <laughs> And it would be maybe like 4,000 without my um, curse, so that's that's one shot. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, what's going on with that? Um, there is some gathering stuff that you can do, there's even fishing or whatever. I don't really... Oh, okay, I don't really do that uh, because I don't really, I'm not really into crafting or whatever. Uh, so I don't gather that, even though I guess there are quests with that or so whatever. The lights that appear on the sky are indicator of um, the public events. So each area has uh, the pillars of light that uh, send to the sky, and you can see from any point into the world then. Sometimes I can't even see and the pillars that are outside of this map um, like after the mountains into the next area so just to know that there is uh, a public event going on. It's happening there but I think it's bugging for me whatever. <laughs> uh, we will have a public event soon here so we will wait here for, for people to gather, you, you will see how uh, it... Uh, Jesus, I almost vomited. <laughs> uh, uh, it doesn't get uh, me emotion sickness, no, I'm just... Uh, I ate too much. <laughs> uh, the, ga the locomotion of the game is uh, rather fine. I was really confused that you can turn sideways with the same joystick that you move. Because usually you have split, you have going uh, forward and backwards with one and then you turn with others but you do that with both of your joysticks which was a little confusing at the start of the game but I got over it. So you can already see that people are slowly gathering and waiting for the event to start and rightfully because it really uh, gives a really high amount of XP uh, the most XP you could get from things and to just like fast level up is uh, doing quests by killing mobs all around the area and doing uh, uh, public events like that and then dungeons. I think that dun dungeons are more profitable in terms of uh, getting a rather good equipment and not through really the XP but it is still fine. I've done many many uh, dungeons, public events like that, that's why I'm level 20. And it's not really that hard to, to level up, but it could be really monotone I guess, if you play alone. This game is really, is fine on its own, but if you wanna play that with other people, which you play anyways, and you can even communicate with them, like, the community in this game is rather really friendly from my uh, experience when I played MMORPGs back in the day on my PC. The community in this game is uh, really pleasant and will help you in basically anything that you can, that you struggle. Um, okay, so it starts. <laughs> Did it bug it? I think it bugged. My turret bugged. Fuck, okay, whatever. <laughs> I'll log out and log in after the event. So you can see there are some bugs going on, obviously. This game is not perfect. Um, which, no game is perfect almost. Um, but you know, 
the, for the price point that it is, because this game is uh, um, priced at the price of 40 euros in the store, which is the highest uh, price for the game currently in the store. There might be other games that are the same price, but I'm just saying, uh, for an online game that um, that should go into the mainstream as a MMORPG, right? So the price point is scary and I could understand why many people don't want to get this game and I completely agree. The, fact, the price point is, uh, I think, too huge for the, the content that it's providing right now. Point blank period. Um, but at the same time, if we wanna, you know, progress in the in terms of uh, VR and MMORPG, we should uh, support uh, projects like that, even though they are a niche for now. For sure, in the future, we will have. Um, way better VR MMORPGs or even this one that will go mainstream because uh, naturally in VR you want to play with others and communicate and that's just the, that's the most fun you want to get from this platform anyways because it should have been connecting people that are not really that I don't know exposed to Communities? I'm not even sure how to say it. Like people that maybe even more shy or whatever. Or is it it's just that a next generation of gaming overall? Uh, you have the timer and you have uh, sometimes the success of the bar that you need to fulfill uh, in order to complete the event. So this one already has three minutes left. And to uh, with that, I'm also achieving some fulfilling some quests that I took. So it's a good idea to take every quest from the city and then um, finish them in the other area and then return with a huge amount of XP, just like I told you. Well, this guy is looking at me. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe it's just me. You have even loot that is sometimes dropped, you just pick it up and just put it in your bag. It's really interactive because I put my things into my bag, just hold it like a while. <laughs> I'm sore from working out because I had a photo shoot yesterday so I had to look good. My headset power is low, that's fine, it's whatever. Um, I just pick it up, put it in the bag. I hide my weapon into with the right hand from my back, so that's just how it works. Basically, most of the space you interact with yourself here is taken, and uh, you need to know what interacts with what. But it's really intuitive, so that's fine. And my class is fairly easy to master, even though there are some things that I've, I've not even realized that are working. For example, the turret I uh, had, I didn't know it was a turret and it did different things and you could shoot uh, the turret for different effects, uh, whether it's the healing of everyone and stuff like that, and even my orb could revive people when I shoot uh, it from my biggest orb uh, from this one if I would shoot to the turret or to myself <laughs> um, it would revive people so I didn't know that I had to read it and get more interested so like I told you in order to know everything that's happening in this game it's not 
on the civil tether, you kind of um, need to do your research. Which is good and, and a bad thing because it just it encourages people to do their own research, but at the same time it should be provided, you know. I mean, it is provided, but you need to pay attention to that. It's not like, bam, and you know what to do. Ten seconds. Yeah, ten seconds. <laughs> Okay, okay. So we will see. I think I will level up. Let's see. Yeah? And you level up. So you receive a reward, an XP, money, stuff like that, you know, basic things. Uh, okay. Am I queued up for the dungeon? I hope so, yeah. Because I want to show the dun one of the dungeons also, because I think it's the better part of this game, anyways. So, quests... You have tutorials, in, mainly in this book, you have tutorials like how to make potions, how you how to... how... like mechanics, most of the mechanics work in this game, PvP, looting, weapons, interface, you know. There is a thing on here, you have my abilities, what they do exactly, and you know, everything is provided, it's just that you need to search for it. <laughs> What's more to do? Let's see. I mean, uh, you have uh, you have some things to buy for a real price, but it's just maybe most everything is just cosmetic size or maybe even like pet stuff like that to just support the creator. So it's not that it's pay to win or whatever. Um, groups, parties, activities. Let's see what I got. Most of the things I don't really bring because most of my things are, even though there are less armor, they are all from dungeons. So I don't really take them because it's mostly for people who don't do dungeons. Uh, what do more show? There are more public events there. Oh yeah, let's log out and uh, log in because I need to my turret. <laughs> That's the thing on the bottom, yeah. Okay, the headset is like fairly too hot to charge, so let's just screw up for a uh, tangent real quick and hopefully it will uh, it will pop up, pop off. Maybe the headset will charge, but for now it's um, it's too hot. I can feel it. So I guess recording, being online, and like providing cake for me is a lot. But at the same time, you know, it is standalone headset, but so I can understand. Which is fun fact that uh, the, your headset will not uh, charge if it's too hot to charge in order to not overheat the uh, um, uh, components in it, I think, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, again, I'm really surprised there are a lot of people who have mine. Okay, well, let, I'll tour in some quests that I fulfilled. I think I did like one, <laughs> because I did not bother to do any. More. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, there is also PvP in this game, obviously. Uh, not many people do that because the dungeons are more um, popular. But you can definitely uh, talk with people and ask them to queue up or whatever if they wanna like go into PvP. Uh, which is like, you know, the basic. PvP that there is. There are raids, which I think is a good thing, is, but I'm not sure. Uh, here. I'll turn to this one. And you get a really high amount of XP, like 20. 12,000 is high enough. Uh, so we're waiting for a dungeon, and what, what to say more about this game, you know? Um, 
Yeah, you can even list what you're looking for. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. This is a dungeon entrance. You, you can see that the game, in terms of art style, is really cut dry with the textures. Obviously, for the purposes of MMORPG, but at the same time, you know, um, it's optimization. I understand that. So, and we are still in the first generation on, of wireless headsets. So I, I know it, it will get better, but you know, it's kind of like <laughs> travel um, to the past times. Uh, with old games, with old textures, you know. So, you know, for some people it could be okay. For some people that are used to high, high end graphics, this could be an issue with buying, with buying this game for 40 euros almost. So, I understand that. And I think that's the most common ar uh, argument that people have it against this game. But, you know. It's not that uh, I regret buying it or whatever, not at all, uh, but this game brings just a little bit hint of the beginning of forming a community around the game, just like Rec Room is uh, nowadays, even though there are so many kids playing Rec Room, um, it still forms as um, some sort of a VR community. And just with the how with the recent update with blue screen, not blue screen, big screen. <laughs> um, with the TV update, they uh, start to form communities also around watching some channel together. So you know we are still in the days of going, um, just forming people together. But you know it's happening. So you know. Supporting this these things is a way to go anyways if you don't really care about spending some money on some games, you know. I mean this game is I can definitely say like uh, non-biased at all that this game is not worth for 40 years for sure but it's worth investing that's what I I'm trying to say, you know, because it's, <laughs> I'm saying like it's, it's, I'm some sort of a charity or whatever, but at the same time, you know, it's, it's an online game, so it's, some, some are like that and some will be more developed, but this one was the first of its kind on this platform, so there are obviously some dungeon dungeon what dungeon? no thank you dungeon 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 what is he saying? dungeon oh dungeon what the hell is that? <laughs> you know and there are just as you, as you saw, some crazy people, so, you know, this game has its flavor, and, and, it's, and it has its moments, so, you know, you can really skip all the bad graphics of it all. I think it's waiting for dungeon, okay, right? Maybe I should go there too, wait a minute. <laughs> Maybe it's my chance. <clears throat> I know. I guess we'll wait and see what happens. I think he's to level 20, uh, 30, even though there's no level, but I think, but there's a star and a guild. So I assume, yeah. But in the meanwhile, when we're waiting, I'm not sure if we will queue up for dungeon. Maybe someday I'll record or whatever, but we'll just see. Um, 
there are a lot of things to do in this game, but um, it's still early in uh, our days of VR that we, sh we expect, you know, obviously, because the technology of uh, gaming is so far from what VR brings anyway these days, so... Uh, okay, well, I don't, know. I don't know what to do more in the meantime when we wait for the dungeon. I think I'm too early because it's what, like, I think 1pm or something like that, or even earlier, and people are still at work, so... It's not like I will record any footage from Dungeon for now, so I think I'll try to do that later. But for now, we'll stop here and I'll try to find some people to the Dungeons later on. So, um, I think that would be for now. it for now, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh well. <laughs>